Hi, this is Lisa with Holland Designs Crochet. Today I'm going to just do a short demonstration for you on the rose of the Coming Up Roses afghan. So you can see it's a very pretty texture. It's a two row repeat and I simply use different shades of pink to create this, this blanket. So it's quite pretty in multicolors or even a solid color, but it's a really pretty texture. So I'll show you how this uh, this pattern begins. We're all one. We create some foundation loops that we're working into. Um, just referring to my instructions here. So for this pattern, we start with chain three. And then we work a double crochet into the third chain from the hook. This creates our very first foundation loop large loop okay and then we're going to work chain five and we're again going to work a double crochet in the third chain from the hook to create a second foundation loop so you can see the spacing on this foundation loop row has two chains in the center between each of the large loops and i'll just repeat that one more time as i'm creating a swatch here just for demonstration purposes so in this pattern you can work as many of these foundation loops as you'd like to create the width of your blanket or width or length you can kind of decide which way you want the texture to run so that's how we work the foundation row and then at the end it just says chain one and turn and by turning it simply means we're working back this way now so i'll show you row two so row two is very simple as well it's just some shell stitches worked into the center of the foundation loops and the shell in this pattern is the same as what you would find in many patterns so this this uh, shell is defined as two double crochets chain two and two double crochets worked back into the same space or the same loop there so i'm going to work one shell in each of the loops foundation loops across so i will have a total of three shells on my swatch here. So again, two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And the same thing in the last loop. So this design is made to measure, so you can use yarn and hook of choice, make it to any size. Okay, so that's my foundation row one and row two completed. And of row two, we again do a chain one and just turn our work. Okay, and I'll come back and show you row three. Okay, on row three, we're gonna be working what is called a cross shell. So that's defined in the pattern for you. We are skipping the first two double crochets of the shell and working two front post double crochets around the third double crochet. So if you're familiar with front post double crochet, it's yarn over, insert your hook front to back to front around the post of the double crochet and complete as a regular double crochet. So that's two front post double crochets worked around the third double crochet of the first shell. Then we do a chain two for the center of our crossed shell. And now we're gonna go back and work two front post double crochets around the second double crochet of the same shell. So we're gonna do our first front post double crochet and then one more in the same place. So that's our first completed crossed shell. It may seem a little bit awkward or funny at first, but as you continue and you keep going, the texture and the rows will build and it'll look really, really pretty. So just trust the process as you're starting out. So the second shell will do the exact same thing. Front post double crochet around the third double crochet of that shell. One more in the same place. Chain two for the center of that shell. And then go back and work the two front post double crochets around the second 
double crochet of that same shell. So this is the row that's creating the really pretty texture in this pattern. And um, it is an intermediate level pattern because of the post stitches and because they are crossed. So a lot of times in a pattern that has cabling, you'll encounter crossed stitches. <clears throat> so it's a familiar technique to those who do cables. So again, this is the last one. We did two front post double crochets, chain two with the center, and then our final two front post double crochets around the second double crochet. Okay, and then at the end of this row, we simply do a chain one and turn our work. And this is how the edging will look initially. So that is how this pattern is designed. I'll demonstrate row four for you now. So row four is basically repetition of row two. We're simply working shell stitches into the chain twos of the crossed shells of row three. So it's really simple. And this entire pattern is just then a repetition of rows three and rows four. So it's easy to memorize and works up pretty quickly. And it's a great pattern if you would like to use a variegated yarn or uh, change colors and do striping like I did, just to keep it really interest interesting. So let me just finish this row of shells. You can see the pretty texture will develop actually on both sides of the pattern. Okay, so chain one turn at the end of row four. And then again, we're ready to repeat row three, which is the cross shell row. So again, it will be the two front post double crochets around the third post. Chain two. And then come back and work the two front post double crochets around the second post. So um, rows row two, which was the shell row, um, and then row three, which is the textured crossed shells, those two rows are what create this pattern and you also need to always be sure to end with a repetition of row, th row three which is the, the textured row so that that will complete the, the blanket so you won't be ending with a shell row you'll be ending with a cross shell row and that is this entire pattern so it's relatively simple and again easy to memorize and once you get used to working those crossed shells it should be pretty simple to follow. So I hope this uh, video demonstration has been helpful to anyone who's maybe not as familiar with post stitches or crossed stitches or with uh, reading patterns. So it's always good to have a little bit of a video demonstration if you're requiring that. So I'll just finish this row and then show you what both sides look like texture wise. So that's the end of row five, I guess, because I did two textured shell, cross shell rows, so I did three and five. So that's what that side looks like. And then I would just go back and start doing my next shell row. So you can see what each side looks like, quite textured and quite pretty. And the edges will be a bit um, sort of wavy and ruffled and pretty like that as well. So it has sort of a natural edging to it. So I hope that you enjoy this pattern and enjoy creating something that's really pretty and really uh, neat texture.